perhaps the easiest group of plants to propagate of any of the plants that you could propagate from your garden is going to be from the genus Salix or the willows. There's over 200 species of willows and we propagate them all in the same way. It's very easy. We don't need any rooting hormone. And I'm going to walk you through two very easy processes that you can use at your home to propagate anything in the genus Salix or what we commonly refer to as willows. Hi, I'm Dr. Tom Warren and you're watching The Plant Doctor. Let's get started. Perhaps the easiest way to propagate anything that's a willow from the genus Salix is just put it in water. So all you need to propagate these is a vase or anything that's going to hold water, like an old milk carton, an old orange juice carton, or even a cup would work. And all you have to do is take what we call hardwood cuttings. So these are hardwood cuttings, meaning that last spring's growth has gone through summer we've gone through fall we've taken these cuttings in february you can take these cuttings anytime from november through like march anytime that the leaves are not on here we can go and take these cuttings and your cuttings need to be at least about a half inch in diameter so these are getting about right at a half an inch anything from a half inch to one inch if you'll just cut those off and these are pretty long. So these are almost two feet long. They don't have to be this long. You can do one as short as like six inches. You can do a foot, but they're going to root. So the first thing that you want to do, these little balls here, these are the buds for the male flowers we call catkins. Now they're very ornamental and that's the reason we have them in a vase. We've had them here in my house uh, is ornamental decoration for a couple weeks now in this vase. But all you have to do is pull off these catkins where the water is going to be above your cutting here and just stick it in. Now from here, we're going to change our water out about once a week. So today is a Sunday afternoon. So I can say, okay, every Sunday afternoon, I'm going to come in and I'm going to change the water out of this vase. And here in about three to four months, we're going to start seeing some roots. And at that point, what you can do is pot it up. And then in the fall, take that potted plant, and put it in your yard. So the second method I'm going to show you comes from the reference manual of woody plant propagation written by Dr. Durr. He's a retired professor at the University of Georgia. And according to the reference manual, you'll get 90 to 100 percent take rate of your cuttings if you follow this method using the hardwood cuttings that we have here. So what do I need? I need some sort of potting media. So here, this is just miracle Grow potting mix I picked up at Lowe's. You need some sort of container. This is an old four pack that annuals came in a year or two ago. When possible, I like to reuse my plastics. I'm not a fan of single use plastic. So uh, anytime I get a, a three gallon pot, a one gallon pot, I'm looking for a way that I can reuse that again. You're going to need some pruners and that's it. So let's go ahead and walk through the process. So I'm just going to take one of these and we're going to make several cuttings that are like six to seven inches long. And remember, we don't want the catkins on there, so we can just remove these catkins. They peel off really easily. And we'll continue making some cuts here. All right, so there's half a dozen or so cuttings. Now it's imperative to remember which side goes up. You don't want to plant these upside down. So the buds always point upwards, okay? So if you plant it and, and your buds are pointing downwards, you planted it upside down. But all we're going to do, we're going to take some potting mix and we're going to fill up one of these trays. And it's as easy as make it here again, make sure the buds are up and we're just going to stick these. We don't need any rooting hormone for these. So uh, the reference manual said that rooting hormone did not make a difference with willows with respect to percentage take rate of our cuttings. So we're not going to worry about using any rooting hormone here. And that's it. That's all there is to preparing your cuttings to go through the remainder of winter. Here again, it's February. We are going to leave these in this pot probably until sometime midsummer. So July, August time frame. These will be rooted and we can bump them up into like a one gallon pot or we can plant them in the yard. What am I going to do with this from here? 
If you have a south facing window, you can put this on the window sill. All you need to do is just put a little saucer underneath it. And we really don't even need to water these much at all. I just want to keep this soil somewhat damp. I may water this say once every other week until I start to see some buds here. Once I see some buds, I would water it like any other indoor plant. So maybe once a week I put some water on it and they are going to be just fine. What I'm going to do with these, I'm going to put these outside. So you could also put these under like a shade tree if you have a shade tree. I have a shade cloth in my backyard. I have a mini backyard nursery. And what I'm going to do is put these under a 50% shade cloth where they're going to get some morning sun. I have the shade cloth arranged where the sun can get underneath it in the morning. And then they are going to get some afternoon shade at a rate of 50% of whatever the actual sun is shining down on them. And that's all there is to it. Guys, as always, thank you for watching The Plant Doctor. And until next time, happy gardening.